Look who, look, look at this crazy Swedish guy in this truck right now. I got yeah, man. Martin from Meshuga, dudes talking sh in a truck, man. A Swedish guy and a Mexicano talking together. It sounds like a joke. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, of course, man. Well, welcome back to the United States. I know you've had a crazy journey, South America, Mexico, yeah. uh, all back to back to back. And uh, here you are in the States now. You just played Mexico a couple of nights ago. Uh -huh. uh, Mexico Domination City. Festival. Yeah, I saw some really cool uh, pictures and videos from that. That looked awesome. Uh, that was sweet. It was awesome. I mean, Mexico's always great. And, and uh, but the jet lag you were telling me earlier, I mean, do you feel that stuff, man? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do. But I mean, honestly, it's like, I don't know, in between all that traveling that you actually do, it's hard to pinpoint whatever is, what it is that actually f you up. Ah, yeah, some yeah, trips yeah. are worse than others, and sometimes you don't really know. You like, you try to prepare, but you know, fuck it. I don't want to complain, you know, you get tired sometimes, but who gives a sh I, I can ride a Jeep all day backstage and then play a show. This and is go cool, to my all right? Man, yeah. Hey, and so I, I, heard, hey. I heard you guys, uh, and you're, you're in a bus because you've been just traveling in airports yeah, yeah, and yeah, not yeah. having a home, a, a, a headquarters yeah. to put your stuff in. Now you got a bus. It feels good. Yeah. Sweet, and, and everybody, how's everybody in the band right now? Everybody's really good. I yeah. mean, yeah, we're, we're doing good. I mean, we're out here doing this thing now, and we got, you know, like, for us, this is kind of tailing off the Violent Sleep of Reason touring. Which uh, came out, as an album that came out about two years ago? Right? Three maybe? Three, three years? Yeah, because yeah, we had a big party yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, at three. my studios. Yeah, actually, beach. I think it was like three years ago. Three yeah. and, a half. And, and the thing is like, you know what it's like. You you ride around and then somehow you like you start to f like look look ahead and like look at the next album. And you know, we never ride on the road. So it's for us, it's basically just, okay, we have to taper off and start focusing on other shit, you know, in yep. order to get an album out eventually. So that's what's going on. And what we're doing is we're doing this U.S. run. We got like two weeks left here in the States. We're fin finishing off in Chicago, Chicago Open Air. Yeah. It's going to be, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's going to be sweet. But it's got, and then we do, we have some weeks off and then we do uh, a month in August, festivals in Europe, and then we're done for this album probably. So, you know, then it's writing mode. And so what, what is uh, Mushiga writing mode? I mean, it, is, do you guys do it individually? Uh, do you guys party at a bar in Sweden and say, hey, what we're going to do, guys? Here's what we're going to do. Hey, oh, oh, now, you know, man, it's, it's, it's not like... It's not like a, a, a we, we sit and do like we have a little bit of different approaches. I mean, like right now, Thomas and Dick are working a lot in in the studio in Stockholm at the studio there, and I'm I'm up north in the sticks, so I sit like at home and working on my shit, and then we you know send it back and forth, and I go down to Stockholm at the studio and we like you know compare compare stuff to each other, but it's early going still, so you know every every process is kind of its own process. You never know it's gonna where it's gonna go. So we're just, you know, as, as much as the next guy, we're just along for the ride. You know, the bowl, bar, you know, you sit down. All right, here's the starting point. It was going to start right, and then we'll see where it takes us. Nice, Simple man. I love, I mean, and now what are you playing? A uh, 19-string guitar nowadays? Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> 21, no, no. we're going to one. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 99-string guitar. 99-string yeah, yeah. guitar, yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, do you tune those strings? Do you tune all of them? I mean, no, you play an 8-string, 9-string? 8-string. 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 So do you ever, because I have an 8-string, and I don't think I've ever tuned it. Oh, uh, okay. So, no, because I think it just sounds, I, I always call it the Meshuggah sound, yeah. you know, just to, yeah, when it's yeah. untuned and yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It and helps you emulate the, 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 the bend notes, yeah, but it, it, no, but those things, you know, those guitars, they're, um, the way they sound is, you know, it's, I love it, yeah, I love so it, sweet, it's, yeah. it's so, but it's so, it's so Meshuggah, yeah. number but one. But it's eight strings, so, so, you mean, I mean, since I'm a lazy, lazy motherfucker, I got, I got Kent to do all that shit for me, so, I mean, you know, cool. <laughs> So, I mean, dude, but that that is a, a, a cool thing, and uh, there, there's just something signature to that sound. It just makes it so heavy. Yeah. Like, you want to crap your pants heavy. The brown nose, yeah, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's a, it, it, I guess it's like, for everyone, when you get a new toy, now that new toy we had was like in 2001, but it's still like one of those things where it still today kind of inspires you to write in a different way than you ever did before the 8 yeah. stream came into play, you know, so... It's all good. Do you ever write like uh, ballads on the H? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, f a lot of ballads. Right? right? I mean, you could probably write some pretty deep ballads on there. A lot more notes, uh, man. A lot more sad uh, notes. Hey, hey, man, tell you what, you know, for the clean parts, I mean, we have some ambient yeah. clean parts yep. that normally run like 
as far as down as the seventh string, but that's as far as it goes. Um, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to, to try that stuff, but it, I, I think, you know, it, 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 those guitars do well in any setting with that kind of, yeah. like, you know, low pitch, so and it's you just a matter your, of utilizing and it. And you have your own signature series, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's yeah. that doing? Are you working? And uh, that's ESP, right? No, no, it's Ibanez. Oh, Ibanez. Ibanez. Sorry, no, sorry. sorry. No, yeah. sorry, dude. No, but we, we have this, I made M out for years now. It's, a, it's, a, it's our sig series. That's kind of the... The Mashuga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's and the And Fred's got uh, uh, the Stone Man. That's, like, kind of his... His deal, yeah. and then and then you've got like I got a I got a new uh, a sig, like a custom signature, but it's not gonna it's not like for retail or anything. Not okay. not not right now. Okay. We never know if people kind of want to check that shit out. Maybe in yeah, the future, of course. You know, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Nice man. Do you do you nerd on the guitar? Like do you like when you're on off days and when you're hanging out in the sticks, as you said? Yeah. Uh, do you, do you hang out with the guitar? And, <sighs> Kind of yes and no. I, that question I always answer no to back in the day because of the simple fact that that I'm not a, like a practicing guy. I'm not that like I don't get restless and sit down. Like, oh, I got to practice for two yeah, hours. Yeah, I rarely pick that. There shit. are some people that are like that. Yeah, I'm not like that. But on the other hand, I'm I write a lot of music, yeah. not for, like for my own stuff and for Mashuga, and, and and that means you know when ideas come flowing, you sit around with the guitar a lot. Yeah. So if I would say that I never do. You know that I never like fiddle around with the guitar. I would be lying. I, I play a shit on the guitar, but I do not sit down with like a metronome practicing doing you know that whole bit. Well, but you, there is no Mashika metronome. There's no no one can keep up the beat except for Thomas, man. There's no uh, electronic device that can uh, try to keep up with Mashika, man. So what do you do for fun out there on the sticks? Uh, uh, like, dude, what, I, I mean, mean I, I like, I like, I mean, since I moved back up, this is a, like ten years ago. But so. move back up, I don't, I don't know where you mean. Up All right, is, so move back up, it means where, like, we're originally from. I mean, okay, Mashuga so is well, kind of up in the north, so it's kind of like a six-hour drive north of Stockholm, six, seven-hour drive north of Stockholm. Sweden is that big? Yeah, Sweden's long, man. It, 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 it I'm runs. Trying to, I'm trying to picture it right now. So driving from... I'm, there, so, it'd be so, cool if it, the, 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 whole, the figure came up right here so we can explain. Yeah, and, but, and, and Martin but can it's kind of like from down south in Skåne up to here, like in Lapland. It's f***ing... So it's long. Right so it's long. I don't know how is much, it wide too? That's no, not that, not as much. Okay. But 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 it's it, it's a very very long country. Not Chile long, but but long. But anyways, it's like we the the, the band is from Umeå, or me and Thomas are from Örsvik, where I moved back to, and the band originated in Umeå, which is kind of like another hour north of where me and Thomas are from. So I moved back up there like ten years ago, and um, what I do is try to keep out of the way of people. I, I so love, it's like isolated. So you're like yeah, in a cabin in the river. forest. It's, I live in a village with like 2,500 people. Oh yeah, stuff. wow! In sweet. I live off the river, and it's like I love that place. You, you know, it's you, like you, nobody you, cares. Nobody cares a shit about boat what I do. stuff. You fish. And no, all that? Well, I got I got a summer cabin uh, an hour's drive north where I have a boat and fish and do all that. But and I fish at home as well. It's a good trout fishing, good pike fishing. Wow. So you know, it's like I love that shit. Um, what I'm doing now, I, I picked up a, one of my biggest hobbies that I quit for a bunch of years and that's reptiles. Oh. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what, uh, like, like Kerry King, yeah, co yeah, snake yeah, collector yeah, breeder. Yeah, yeah. So you're a breeder? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's serious, dude. Yeah, yeah. I know Kerry King from Slayer. He makes, yeah. sorry, yeah. Slayer. Yeah. He makes a lot, he makes money. Yeah. He and you could, I'm, I'm not, at, I'm not at the warehouse level that Kerry is because he's, he's at a different level. Have as you far talked as, to him about this? Uh, stuff? Yeah. Well, you know what? When I was into it the first time when we toured with Slayer in like two, like in 90, what was it? 99? 1999, we were out with Slayer and sick of it all. And, and and we were talking a lot of snakes back then. Wow. But, but I mean, I used to keep, he always told me I was f up because I kept a lot of venomous and he wouldn't touch that. <laughs> you know, so, so, but, um, but. Was that worth more money? I, no, I feel no, like no, I don't, I don't care about the money. Dude. Oh, okay. I don't, there is money to be made for sure. But I'm interested in, first of all, the biology of the snakes and different biotopes and like where you find them. So when I'm on the road in the U.S., I try to go out and look for snakes if I get the time. Dude, go to Arizona. Remember, I, I mean, we, Dude, I, I picked Arizona. rattlers. You, know? you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we did an interview for Headbangers Ball in yeah. Phoenix uh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, you and Decapitated. But yeah. so you, so did you, were you into this like in I high started, school and stuff? I started in, I st I, I've always been into animals, you know, nature and all, and a bit, like uh, uh, overall. So I started like keeping snakes when I was like 20 something. 
And like in 90, I guess, like 91. You were in Meshuggah at that point. Yeah, we yeah, just I mean, started out. Just okay, started yeah, yeah. out. So, so and and like, you know, it went from two snakes to 110 real f***ing quick. And uh, a good friend of my kiss that I used to run a zoo up where we like where I'm from, where I live. So I got like my I had really good like help to just get into the hobby. But you know I'm 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 all about that. I, I actually wow. really pissed off that I left my snake at home because I wanted to go out now while we're here in Florida. But it's not gonna happen though. And I know the other guys are kind of dude. The other it's snake. Like, it's like a small group of people. I no, has to but the guys in the band. They're like I remember we did for stories. I mean we did Ozfest in 2002. And we played the gorge in f-ing Washington State, yep. and it's beautiful up there. Yeah. And it's like in the middle of summer, you get this Ozfest, a lot of f-ing people. We play in the afternoon. Uh, Hippery goes on after us, and I'm like, so at catering, there's these, these signs like "Watch out for rattlers," and I'm like, okay. Oh. So so I'm like, oh. So I asked the the staff there, like, is this just like for show, or are there a lot of rattlers here for real? And they're like, oh, there's so many rattlesnakes. Don't walk around here, man. So I just like after the show, I just stripped the stage clothes, put a pair of shorts and, 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 and like you know like a, a t-shirt, and I f-ing jumped the fence, went straight into the canyon, and spent like four hours picking rattler snakes. Shut up! I, I, I found maybe like twelve. You pick them with your hands? No, I use a stick, and I I, I I use my hands, but I use a stick just to what? not get caught. I didn't have a hook then, but anyways, I come back, I took pictures, I got pictures like of a big female that I'm. You know, checking out how, how the health is and all that shit. Sh- you know, like what sex she was and all, all that. So I was like, okay, this is a big female. Awesome. This is a nice snake. And I'm looking at it. And uh, it was a viridis. So it's like, I, I was like, okay, this is cool. So I showed Thomas because he's kind of into animals as well and used to be blizzards and shit. So I go. Those are like, a bunch of freaking yeah, yeah, reptiles, I don't know. There's, there's, some, there's something wrong with us. But he doesn't keep sh- anymore but but the thing was I, I showed him and I'm like look and he's like oh man that's awesome look at the pictures and then after a while he goes like dude what the f- are you thinking <laughs> we're in the middle of the Oz fest yeah what happens if you get tagged you know yeah and I'm like no more Oz fest. Oh, I didn't think about that <laughs> so that was Carrie was saying to me earlier too it's like dude you gotta I mean your finger your hands are your job you know good point look at yeah. Kerry King looking out for your brother in metal dude so have you gotten bit Martin before not by venomous reptiles been close but been by very the- close yeah bit I, I get bit every f-ing week I spend like three hours a day working with the reptiles you know so I and, like and, and yeah. you get bit like do you have scars and stuff or anything no, well maybe a few fang marks but, yeah, dude yeah no, maybe a few but I mean not, right, not cool. right now I haven't been home for three weeks so it's all good. I, it, it's not a big deal, dude. It's like being, if it's a small snake, it's like being stri- scratched by a cat. My yeah. retics, though, my reticulated pythons, they are kind of, they're cool. And pythons, they ones, but, you check know. out these pythons, Martin. Yeah, but they're, 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 f- they're, all, they're, they're awesome, man. They're wow. They're sweet, sweet animals, but they're big. You know? Dude, I, I'm Fuck learning so much. This is cool, man. I didn't know you guys were so reptilian, man. No, no dude, I'm, 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 I'm so into that. I was actually trying to, I have this kind of alias on Facebook. I, I don't have an account on my own. I got this alias just for, for snake. You know, that I <laughs> yeah, always. yeah. So I was actually thinking about maybe, you know, like advertising one of my f-ing guitars and go like, okay, who wants to trade? Who's got cool oh, snakes, you know? Oh, right like, here. Who, oh yeah, man. Well, right Who's here. got cool shit? Trade. Hit me up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> uh, man, I wish I had snakes, dude. I'll trade you. I want a, I want a Martin guitar yeah, for a snake. That's a good deal. Some yeah. fan's going to uh, hit you up on that, yeah, man. man. So that's cool, man. So snakes and anything else that's, I mean. Yeah, but, but I mean, dude, I mean, the hockey, not that I'm playing anymore because my body shots and all old old guys beer league hockey for me anymore, but I'm an ice <laughs> hockey f-ing freak. Yeah? I love that. And you shit. in the beer league too? Yeah, I used to play as a kid and my dad used to play in the major leagues, you know, like back in the day. So oh. We're, uh, the, where me and Thomas are from is kind of an NHL f-ing breeding ground. We had at least 15, 16 players from that small town playing in the NHL. Wow. And I'm, I'm talking about like point total league leaders like Peter Forsberg, Marcus Naslin, the Sedin twins, like a bunch of pretty good players. Wow. You know? Victor Hedman, you and, know. And your that. dad was on that team too? What? Well, he was on that old, uh, uh, the Modo, yeah, the Swedish team that all those guys came from. Like, but, Wow, you know, look at you, do hockey royalty in your blood. Yeah, but my dad was like, you know, he, he didn't play, he got injured pretty early in his career. 
back shot out. Yeah. Like when he was 23. Hockey's no joke, man. No, man. Does he have his teeth and stuff? No, no. He's, he actually <laughs> passed away a couple of years um, ago. But sorry, man. No, that's all right, dude. Yeah. It's all fine. I mean, But yeah, yeah he, had, he had most of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy stuff, man. But hockey is so metal. I mean, that explains, you know, Meshuggah and... You know your yeah, dad. I mean, yeah, explains yeah, a lot, right? Is yeah. your dad uh, was your family uh, a fan of the band and the yeah? Music well, and I stuff? mean, he, when I was a kid, it was like get your get a job and cut your hair. But yeah. Like the like you know he's he he was like old school industry yeah. pulp mill worker guy. Yeah. Um, but taught, uh, taught but, you but, a lot of work work ethic. You know yeah, yeah. how to work your ass off yeah, to yeah. to earn. Yeah, f- yeah, he was on our back. I mean, you, you get you get a certain way of looking at the world if you grow up in the, uh, that type of environment. Of course. And, and I think it helped us a lot. It was yeah. a benefit. But on the yeah. other hand, I mean, most guys living off the coast of Sweden up north grow up in similar circumstances. Yeah. So it's, it's all good. But I mean, he got into it, though. Like, eventually he realized, okay, he, he's actually making a living off of this. People seem to be liking this crap. You know, so Liking, like, you mean loving. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, he was like, and he actually got to see his live ones like before we passed away so that was kind of cool man. that's cool yeah, that was awesome. hey dude uh, I appreciate you taking some time right now with your jet Thank lag you, and everything and, and hanging out with us here dude anytime uh, so you do, know that dude, dude you know I'm a massive supporter and fan of your band and of you and you've always been so cool to me and my family and my yeah, friends yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm telling you dude when I say we're one of my favorite bands I know you know that but, I know no uh, I know, I know. but it's cool to have you here man so it's I have a gift mutual man dude well